It's Trey Jones. I'm live here with Fat Fat TV, man. Come check us out. Live and direct from Morris, Kansas. It's the East Side Wordsmith, forging all these verses. So what's going on, man? What's your name, bro? Trey Jones. Alright, alright. We're here to interview with Trey Jones today, man. Get to know Trey Jones a little bit, man. Ask him about, you know, about him and music and see what he got going on. So, uh, here we go. So, first question of the interview, man. So, uh, where you from, bro? Morris, Kansas. Okay. West side. West side. So, was you born and raised here or like, like, like how did that go? Born and raised in Lawrence Memorial Hospital. Okay. I've been in Wood Creek my whole life. 24 years. 24 years. What made you start rapping? How was you when you first, first started? Like, you were like, right, like first, wrote your first verse. First bar. Uh, had to be first grade. I was about six years old. Only reason I started so early is because my older brothers both rap. Oh, so that, that's where that's where my influence comes from. So you ever do like any concerts between it, like between like I know you said you, you start rap between like one years old, but like uh, what was your very first concert? First concert? Yeah. Like first like ever ever get on a stage or anything? Man, first time I was on stage, it wasn't official. I was battling on stage at a party. Do at a warehouse. I had to be. If I had to guess, it was probably, I was probably 17 years old. Yeah, I had to be about 17 years old. I had my first battle at a warehouse. Where? Out in, out in North Morris. That's okay. So that's more like, uh, I don't know if you know Hitman Holler, but like, you know how Hitman Holler do like the freestyles in the basement and stuff like that? Was it something like that sort of like uh, environment or was it like something like kind of different? Yeah, it was kind of like the old smack environment, you know? Yeah, yeah, people, yeah. Yeah, I know, you know the smack. Surround around the stage. What's okay. your biggest influences that like they just like made you like oh I want to like this is like me personally like my influences for me recording videos uh you know CJ so cool yo speeds man go subscribe to my uh, SoundCloud speeds OTB I'm, I'm gonna go I'm, I'm not gonna give all my influences I got a lot of rap influences but I have to start out you know first and foremost I gotta thank my big brother. His name is Ryan. His uh, rap name is Doey. I was like, he gonna have some shit coming soon. You know, he he kind of lay low right now. But that's my that's my biggest influence. My big brother. And then of course, you know, if I gotta go old school, I give you a couple. Uh, Jay Z, Biggie, Nas. Mm -hmm. And then if I had to go new school, like Meek Mill, Nipsey, Ross, Freddie Gibbs, Don. So uh, man, so like uh. Like, was there any, like, difficulties you had coming up, like, when it comes to this music world? Like, did you have, like, any, like, difficult times or anything like that? Man, a lot of difficult times. I, I could go for days on difficult times. Uh, biggest part, it's just like any job you got. You might come to a job and you'd be like, man, I might enjoy this. You could be easy, but it's always the people. The people is what make everything hard. Right. You're just dealing with different artists and different engineers. You know, I have been in a thousand studios. You know, I done had to deal with people deleting files, scrapping songs, uh, taking verses off, uh, getting upset about, you know, their parts not being as good as mine. You know, not even not even to my own horn or, or bragging or boasting. It's just been a lot of a lot of different things like that. This 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 rap game gets crazy. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like with some real money. Real money on the Man, Features wise, I'll say like how much you usually charge for a future nowadays? I mean, I know people probably come to you sometimes and ask for features, so like, what's your price on features? I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Zero right now. Until I get until I get the buzz I want, I ain't charge nobody for nothing. Until I get the buzz I want. And then when I get the buzz I want, you know, we can we can discuss. Are you looking that. to push towards like independency inside this rap world? Are you looking for like to sound like a label or like like where like what are you looking for towards this rap world as you progress? Uh number one, I'll probably say independent. But if I can find a label that makes me feel comfortable and presents me with a good deal, I'd definitely be, you know, okay with, with signing so to So, man, tell us, man, you have, like, any new music coming out or anything like that? Like, you have anything that's out right now people can go check out, like, on YouTube or anything-wise? Not on YouTube yet, but coming soon. But right now, uh, this on SoundCloud. SoundCloud.com slash Trey Jones 1994. I got, I got a few joints on there. And uh, I got a new record coming out called Game Time shortly, yeah. probably next couple weeks or something. Man, kick us a little freestyle real quick, man. I got you. I said, uh, my thoughts condescending. I keep saying I'm the greatest. I said, no, hold on, hold on. My thoughts kind of different. I keep saying I'm the greatest, but it's condescending. I keep, I try to make these points clear, but they kind of miss it. She told me to take the condom off, and she kind of meant it. I'm a saucy nigga, yeah. Play my position, I'm the man with the crown. 
these rap niggas stop rapping, they be dancing around. I'm not a killer, but my niggas keep some hammers around. You wouldn't find these type of wolves in Carl Anthony Town. Yeah, mama told me quit trying, it's like the rest of y'all. So when I make it, should be quiet like the rest of y'all. Trying to forever ball and never fall. Still trying to get my buzz up, I've been light years ahead of y'all. <clears throat> niggas talk tough, they say they gon' send me the spot. I'm never scared, nigga, I done stood on plenty of blocks. I sip Henny a lot, maybe the Remy on rocks. Bitches wanna take pics, I tell them 20 a pop. It's west side till I dinner not. If you wanna see the truth, all you gotta do is look me in the eye. <laughs> My battery fully charged, I'm still energized. Black entrepreneur, I need an enterprise. We got a jack and rob to beat the odds. Damn, they gotta pull the strap out on a manager to get the job. Mm. Mm. Wicked and evil people make you believe in frauds. I don't believe in these people, only believe in God. Westside. I got you. man. So, uh, how long? Uh, in fact, how did you meet Speezy on the beat, man? Like, how did you meet Speezy? Man, like honestly, like we both we both been rapping for a long ass time, and the first time I met Speezy, I don't even know if he remembered this. Uh, we was at uh, the fair, the little carnival that come here, you know, every year. Right, right. And fucking, uh, we was battling. He was battling a lot of people that night, and like fucking, like I swear this nigga battled probably like you know six or seven people that night. Right. And I have, I just happened to be one of them. We battled a little, but we didn't really go like you know bar for bar for a long ass time. And we exchanged a couple, couple bars there. I don't know if he remember that. Right. That was a long ass time ago. Though. I probably was like fourteen for real. Oh. Did I end up getting like connected? Like, I know you said you met at the first, so like after the fair, like how did y'all get connected? Like on this music shit, like you know, towards like you him you coming around him and stuff like that. Being in the studio with my hot, like how did that pop off? Honestly, like uh, just like really just word of mouth. Like we ended up uh, just talking on Facebook. Honestly, because we we both you know see each other doing music online, so we just ended up talking on the book one day. And, you know, he hit me up. I just pulled up. You know, that's how it all started. Like that, man. If you could do a future with anybody in the industry right now, like who would it be? Anybody. It don't Man, matter who. Right now at this very moment? Oh shit, that's tough. Man, I don't know, I'm stuck. Cause like I like I like Don Q and Dave East a lot. But I'd rather I, I like Meek and Nipsey too. These are all artists I'd rather like rap like uh like every day with, like do a whole mixtape with. But if I got one song, it'd probably be Jay for real. Jay? Yeah, I'm a big ass Jay fan. I just gotta ask, man. Cause this, I've been wanting everybody's ask, but so like, how do you how do you feel about this whole uh, you know, Soldier Boy on the net right now? You doing this thing? So how do you feel about the whole Soldier Boy thing right now? Man, like, I just gotta know, cause I'll just I ask a lot of people that. Like, what do you think about the Soldier Boy thing? I feel a couple of different ways, like, cause uh, I just saw the uh, the interview on the Breakfast Club. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think where to start at. It's a lot of shit that's going on. I'm trying to think of like what would be the. The, the direct point to start with Drake. Let's start with let's start there where he was talking about Drake stole his flow. Yeah, Drake did stole his flow. Drake stole a lot of flows. Uh, doesn't mean that Soldier Boy is anywhere near the artist that Drake is, but Drake did take did, did take that flow for Miss Me. It sound it sound exactly the same word for word and everything. Soldier's not mine. He's right, and I do agree with him when he said that he uh he uh he said he took he said he said something about he took the uh, the bullet. Or he took the bullets for, you know, all the bullshit that's going on today. Like, basically, when he did crank that, they said he killed hip-hop. And he's saying nowadays, like, now you you see a nigga every other, every other week coming out with a dance song. And ain't nobody saying shit about it. Like, everybody love it now. But he's like, I started that. I was like, I agree with, so I agree with Soulja Boy on that. But at the same time, I was like, I don't necessarily agree with uh, the entire rap game, you know, copying that. I think that does need to be some of that in hip-hop because if niggas don't, niggas don't really know, but... Hip hop had a hip hop originally has like break dances and dance music and shit in it. It's just you know the '90s when the '90s happened, right, it was right. nothing but real rappers. You know nobody they kind of canceled that shit out a little bit. You know and then that's why everybody expect the rap game to still be like that. And I was like, it's not. But uh, that's pretty much how I feel about it. You know I agree with Soldier Boy on some things. Right, I, right. Also, I don't think he he uh, his stories be a joke like everybody say. I say his stories is real. Like I can tell he got a real background. He come from a real struggle. He really did shoot all the niggas that ran this house. Yeah, that I, did. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Like when I first heard about that, I heard he was. I thought he was lying at first. Like, you know, everybody turned to a joke. So I thought he was lying at first. But when I see that, 
dudes that he shot really confirmed that they got shot. I'm like, oh, he really, he really shot them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Migos, the Migos are self-made. If anything, right. put the Migos on us when they paid for that Versace feature. Right. That's what put the Migos on. You part of a group or anything? You part of Speedy them group? Like, just wanna know, like, are you, are you, uh, are you just by yourself? Originally, my, uh, my, me and my brother started this thing called Hunted Set. It was just me and him. And then uh, he kind of fell back with the music a little bit. Like, I still mention it every now and then, but like, yeah. You know, I just don't go all the way with it because cause he not he not fully active right now. But um, I'm not really a part of a group other than that, for real, honestly. Like, I'm half a hunter set. Uh, you know, I, I work with Speezy and I'm a lot. They EME. Yeah. I'm not EME. He's that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I work with, uh, so, my, I work with my <laughs> homie Redman, too, a lot, too. You're going to hear a lot from him. That's Redman. Yeah. He, uh, that's his nickname. His rap name is Rose. Rose. But I was like, you gonna hear a lot from him coming up too. Uh, he's Gotcha Gang. I ain't Gotcha Gang either. Yeah, I heard but, about uh, Gotcha Gang. I heard about Gotcha Gang. I do a lot of different stuff with different people. I just ain't directly a part of nothing. Good. Uh, how many rappers like is it like around Lawrence in general? Because like I know I heard like some like all rappers I heard about it's in Lawrence right now since I've been living here is you know you and you got Speeds, you got Dutch, and you know heard of Smoke. I miss smoke that day when I first ended up I can name every rapper I've ever heard of out of here. Flossa, like, CG. And Young Flossa, Young Flossa. Y'all forgot about Young Flossa. Yeah, Young Flossa too. All right, and you got, uh, let me see here. That just came out the L that's kind of active right now. All right, as far as, this as far as I know. Obviously, we got Speezy, uh, my homie Rose, Don Vito. Uh, obviously, myself, Trey Jones. Uh, who else we got? That's active right now. We got uh, this cat named L Wise. I just did a record with him. We got uh, Stu Wop. You know, he probably one of the biggest artists around here. Uh, we got Los. Fuck Los. Los Loco. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. All right, we got, uh, who else we got coming out there? Dash Diversity out in Vegas right now, putting that word. We got a lot of guys, honestly, coming out there. Oh, that's cool, man. So I met a young Flosser. I was working with Flosser over at Jabo, not that far from here. He was talking about the whole music. So that's how I got connected with Speezy because he was talking more about the music. But I didn't know there was a lot of people out here rapping in Lawrence like that. I didn't know that. So, man, like uh, some things in life, you know, I hope you don't mind if I ask you on this personal level. But, like, what like what are some things in your life that you kind of went through, like, you know, that kind of, like, still fucks with you sometimes? Man. Shit. There's a few things. Uh. I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way into detail, but shit. <coughs> Definitely the uh, biggest one had to be losing my father at age 12. That was, that was the biggest hit probably for me. Cause uh, you know, that was like, the, you know how everybody got that one person that's just completely behind you. Like no matter yeah. what, that was that one person right there. Like completely behind me, no matter what. Don't get me wrong. I got other family members and friends like that support me, but that was that one person. My dad always pushed me to, you know, just to, to be my best at everything. So, you know, when I when I when I, when I had to deal with that, especially at such a young age, I was only in the sixth grade. You know, it was painful. But um, that's that's definitely number one. Uh, shit, it's like a couple of the females I dated. Really, like the biggest one is like my last joint. Probably that one. That one hit. That one hit hard. When you lose that good girl, that one hits hard. Definitely, like I ain't even, I can't even flex. Like mo most most cats be trying to flex all the time. I was like, I can't even flex. That's mm -hmm. that that one real breakup hit hard. Not all of them yeah. go hit hard, but that one hit hard. Yeah, I can I can relate to you on that one though. I went through that first breakup, that first love. So I already know how it is, man. I made big steps. Uh, <laughs> man, I, don't, I mean, it's a lot of little things that that went down and just you know make life hard, you know. Dealing with this town, you know, I'm in a town that's, you know, not, uh, I'm not going to say it's, it's predominantly racist. I, I do believe uh, behind the scenes, you know, some stuff going on, but like, I don't think they're really for keeping, uh, you know, keeping keeping African-Americans all the way in the front seat unless we uh playing basketball, <laughs> be for real. You know, it's, it's a lot of different stuff. Dealing with this rap game, uh, jealous rappers. Uh, producers, uh, guys just trying to hold you down, don't want to see you make it nowhere, uh, people not taking this music stuff seriously, like, 
it's a lot of different things that is, you know, that still that still stick with me to this day that I ain't really let go. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm focused on moving in a better direction in life. You know, getting away from the neg- negative the negativity. You know, and just positive direction. You know, okay. financial security, good music. You know. Fun with the fam and friends, you know, all that stuff. You said you like to uh, be battling people. So, like, man, you have, like, any upcoming battle raps that we should know about or anything sometime soon? Uh, I got a, a little tournament coming up at the TPs uh, in North Lawrence. It's uh, 1461 North 1800 Road. That's the address. Okay. And uh, it's just a little battle tournament for, like, $500. I'm going to be doing this. Uh, it got postponed till February 2nd. Okay, so, so what or was February first? My bad. So what was the original day? Since it got postponed to that day, the original day was uh, January nineteenth. That was yesterday. Oh, okay. So it was supposed to be yesterday, but it got, was it because of the weather? Because I know, I know, we got like some bad weather up here. Honestly, I don't know. They didn't tell me. Honestly, they just they sent out a little PSA like, yo, we we canceling for tonight. Oh, okay, okay. It was like like so uh, this whole time you've been like doing this rap thing. Like, who been your biggest support by your side so far? Man, the biggest the biggest person in this. Yeah, like who had like who just by your side the whole way, like rooting you on, cheering you on as you doing this. It's been kind of different, honestly. It's been it's been different people. Like I can't even I can't even accredit one person for that, cause like I'm trying to think. Like the first people to tell me to do something with this music thing, you know, I always start with my brother. That's number one. Like he was the first one to to believe in me, like to be like little bro, like you can do this shit. Like he heard me. He heard me rapping one day because I had been listening to him and listening to, you know, of course, all the other rappers I heard. And he was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm going to start putting you on some tracks. And eventually, you know, it led to all this other stuff. But I, definitely my brother, uh, let me think, my sister, my, my big sister, Takesha Clark, definitely uh, got a thing red. My homie Red, man, uh, he the one, he got, he got fresh out of prison. He the one that got me back rapping, for real. He had been writing the whole time he was in there. He got me back rapping, pulled out the, the laptop and the microphone the next day. Uh, got a shout out Speeds. You know, that's been uh, been my recent support. You know, he been fucking with me recently a lot. You put the camera on me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Speezy <laughs> <laughs> uh He working on this stuff right now. He black ignorant. That's what he does. <laughs> black ignorant. <laughs> yeah, he black ignorant. Um, he, he definitely been rapping with me forever. He been... Uh, he been putting that battery in my back too. It's been a lot. It's been a lot of different people, for real. I could go on and on and on. Yeah. So man, like, so if anybody need to reach you, man, like, uh, how, how can they kind of take like email, anything, like, how can people uh, reach you? If you want to send anything, like, as far as like work, like, uh, like a verse, or you want you trying to, you know, just do anything, anything as far as a collaboration goes, send it to. Trey.Jones94 at ymail.com or Trey.Jones945 at gmail.com. That's both my emails. Uh, hit me on Snapchat. That's most hated underscore 785. Most hated underscore 785. Uh, Twitter, Mr. underscore Jones underscore 100. Uh, Instagram, Best Rapper Live 1994. Facebook, Trey Jones, T R E Y J O N E S. Uh, and if you're just looking for my music, soundcloud.com slash Trey Jones 1994. That's right. everything right there. All right, so one more before we tune out. Got one more last question, man. So, if you could do a verse with any female artist in, in the industry right now, who would it be? Female last artists. question. Like, if I had to get a, get a verse from them, like one of my songs? Yeah, like like being in the studio with them personally, like person like side by side with them. Damn, I almost got. A, I got a couple. I got a couple. <laughs> I want to do something with. People be sleeping on the females, like you know, this off the strength. I'm gonna start off and, and, and be a nigga. I'm going Cardi. <laughs> Cardi. Oh, yeah. off rip. I'm, I yeah, want to Cardi. Like, first. Yeah, I like uh, Cardi too. Yeah. It's a it's it's a couple females that be snapping. Uh, Jean Grey be snapping. Uh, 3D uh, 3D Nut be sla- uh, snapping to uh, Snow the product be snapping to Those three fem- three females I want to do something with <laughs>